Toyota is updating its old-fashioned body on frame offering with technology from the modern era, including an improved interior with a large touchscreen, coil-sprung rear suspension, and a more efficient powertrain. The 2022 Tundra pickup arrived first, aiming to capture the larger full-size pickup market share dominated by Ford, Chevy, and Ram, and now the new Sequoia 2023 full-size SUV comes with similar upgrades. And it only comes as a hybrid. Like the new Tundra, the Sequoia is built on Toyota's TNGAF platform, but is shorter in length compared to a full-size pickup. The platform also underpins the new Global Land Cruiser and Lexus LX, but the former isn't on sale here anymore. Sequoia now uses a sturdy rear axle instead of the independent setup like the previous generation and the Chevy Tahoe, Ford Expedition, and Jeep Wagoneer. Rear air springs and adaptive dampers are available, and the off-road-oriented TRD Pro model has 2.5-inch Fox dampers with internal bypass chambers and remote reservoir and 33-inch Falcon Wildpeak all-terrain tires. Unlike the Tundra, which is available with a non-hybrid twin-turbocharged 3.4-liter V6 engine, the Sequoia comes standard with an iForce Max hybrid setup. It has an electric motor between a twin-turbo V6 and a 10-speed automatic transmission powered by a 1.5 kWh nickel-metal hydride battery. This combination produces 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque. Toyota hasn't announced fuel economy estimates for the Sequoia or Tundra hybrids, but the Sequoias could pull up to 9,000 pounds. That's 600 pounds more than the top-rated Chevy Tahoe but less than the Ford Expedition and Jeep Wagoneer. To aid in transport, the towing technology package adds a trailer backup guide, and towing mirrors and surround view cameras are available. The Sequoia's grille is a bit streamlined compared to the Tundra. It's about 10% smaller than the pickup, as it's not a single-frame display, but the rest of the front is shared with the pickup, including the headlights. I think the Sequoia's best angle is the rear three-quarter view, which shows the slim taillights complementing the headlights. Among the exterior color options are Lunar Rock and Supersonic Red. The interior improvements first seen on the Tundra carried over to the Sequoia. An 8.0-inch touchscreen is standard on the SR5 model, but a large 14.0-inch touchscreen is available as an option on that trim and standard on the rest of the lineup. A 12.3-inch digital meter cluster is standard, along with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wireless capabilities. It offers a second row of benches or captain seats, and the third row of seats can slide up to 6 inches and fold up to fit in the adjustable cargo rack. When it goes on sale this summer, the Sequoia will be available in State Route 5, Limited, Platinum, TRD Pro and Capstone luxury models that were first introduced in the Tundra with two- or four-wheel drive available. The TRD Sport package is available on the SR5 model which adds black TRD wheels, Bilstein dampers and other TRD accents. Newly available on the Sequoia SR5 and Limited models is the TRD Off-Road package, and adds locking rear differential, Bilstein dampers, black 18-inch TRD wheels, multi-terrain select off-road drive mode, and off-road cruise. Control. The Toyota Sequoia 2023 will be built with the Tundra at the Toyota plant in San Antonio, Texas.